Good morning, everyone. Jeanette Byro here. I am a medium and a channeler, and welcome to your weekday daily card reading from Spirit, where we dive in and explore what's in store for you through the cards. Now, I got to say, when I do mediumship readings, I just go straight to Spirit. I just kind of unlock that doorway. Spirit comes in and we chat. But for these kinds of general messages, I love using Oracle cards as that kind of gateway because I think we all get a little bit of extra insight specificity uh, through the images on the card, which, which is why I love Oracle cards as well. So I really recommend you guys try them out if you're curious yourself. But in the meantime, let's dive in and see what Spirit has to share today. Hold on here. Ooh, interesting. Okay, I really like this. So the first card we have is Lady of the Lake, okay? Followed by the stag, then followed by these two back to back. First one is restriction, and the second one is risk, all right? So this is really cool. Now I'm gonna work backwards here because first of all, this restriction, is based on this card here. This card, the risk card is all about choice. So many of you are gonna be asked to make a choice, asked to choose, consider, um, somehow make a choice on something where you will not have all of the uh, pieces that you would want. You're not gonna have all the clarity. You're gonna be restricted somewhat from some of that clarity. So in this position of having to make this choice, the keys come in with these two cards. I love these two cards. These are basically the masculine and the feminine of self. That's how I often read them. So the lady of the lake is basically absolute truth, courage, respect, uh, self-respect and responsibility. This is the feminine aspect that knows self. This is the feminine aspect that recognizes the power within self, the power to create, the power to destroy, and the responsibility to hold that position of power, okay, in the feminine aspect. Just as this stag represents the masculine aspect of pride, leadership, guidance, and strength. And so when these two come out together, this is really saying pull from the masculine and the feminine within. Pull from the balance of both sides. Check in with both sides how are you feeling in the more feminine side? How are you feeling in the more masculine side? As you make this decision, this choice, this, uh, yeah, really, this risk really represents the path. You can see on this card, there's three directions they could go, right? And the person standing there is the one that has to make the choice. So it's about not having on the, all the knowledge to make it. So it's about standing at this juncture point here and stepping into the feels. How do you feel when you look at each direction? Take the time to go through and feel your way through it. And so what I like to say to people too, is whenever you're facing a choice like that, it's kind of like, I like to separate it into left brain and right brain. And again, this is just an idea, take it or leave it, take what resonates with you. But I like to get out all the logical, uh, organizational, structured responses to the thing. Okay, lay it all out on paper, options, every option you can think of, have it out there, how it could work. And then after I've exhausted that one, then I go into right brain and I feel my way into what feels right, even if it doesn't make sense, what feels right. And I let that have its own say. And then I have these two fully expressed sides of opinions. We could even say left brain being masculine and the stag, right brain being feminine and the lady of the lake. Then I have the two of them, all of the stuff written out, and then I can go in and really feel what feels right in that left brain linear approach. What feels right in the, in the right brain expressive one? Now, what do I think is the best option in the right brain one? And what do I think is the best option? And then you can start to narrow it down, but you're doing that then from a position of wholeness and really allowing your whole being to speak to you in this position of choice. So if you're finding yourself in a position of choice like that today or the next few days, 
this may be something you want to consider is how are you feeling about all of it left right brain lady of the lake at the stag embody all of it and then make your decision moving forward all right you guys i hope that helps if you want to dive in deeper join me at the Viro podcast it's a great one i gotta say it's a lot of fun and uh, as well, avalonspirit.com. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe and share and like. It helps uh, to spread positivity. And that's what this is about. So you guys have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow.